Hey folks, JP here, and shall we? It's uh, Thursday evening, it's August 5th, I want to say. Is that my room? Yeah. And uh, it's about 6.30 in the evening, somewhere in there. I just want to show y'all this little tiny external colony, okay? It actually has, is it two cone section, shall we, or three? Two. We looked at this little small external colony probably about maybe three weeks ago, okay? We called out to, to remove them, but believe it or not, the comb sections were even smaller then than they are now, okay? And they've actually increased their numbers. And at the time, we told the homeowner it would be in the bee's best interest to just leave them where they are and hopefully, you know, they would gain some numbers and, and grow the colony. And they've done that to, to a, a certain degree, okay? But uh, they're still at a point that um, I don't believe we should remove them. So they, they, they have comb, a little bit extra form, and they actually have honey. Uh, there's hardly any of it capped, okay? And I have a bottle. I'm actually going to feed them a little bit because I feel kind of sorry for them. But uh, this shed behind Shao Wei has a, a mature colony in it, and we're pretty certain that this, this little swarm right here probably came from the, from the shed. And uh, we're going to talk, to, we did talk to those people about removing them for them. And uh, in fact, in a minute, we're going to knock on the door and see if they're interested in having us remove them another time. But, um, and uh, by the way, we looked at two other jobs today. That, and one of them was in a, uh, a duplex in New Orleans in a brick two-story building. And the bees absconded. There's no signs of honey drippage or anything. And... Uh, what I'm thinking is maybe that the building of that side of the building has got a lot of sun and, and maybe some of the combs fell and maybe small high beetle got to them and uh, or maybe they just got real sticky and left but that, I mean, there wasn't any activity so we didn't want to remove that one. We went to another house that um, I thought that maybe they were in the wall and we, we checked, it was in the corner of a house, we checked both wall sections, nothing, no bees. So, that one is pretty unusual. It's a raised house, and we think the bees are between the the, a floor, the first floor joist and maybe maybe a sill. So I have to go back with my repair guy, and we may have to remove aluminum uh, siding to get to that one. That one is very unusual. And the house, instead of the typical two by four studs, has a two by sixes. <laughs> so anyway, we decided we're going to come over here and maybe fool with this little hive. Okay. I actually do have one that's kind of buzzing me right now. But anyway, uh, so this is our, our third colony to look at today. And we were considering removing them, maybe setting, up, setting them up in a little nuke. But uh, as you can see, they're just a little small little two-comb colony. So we're going to leave them alone, give them a little feed. And that's about all we, we got for you today. Anything to say, shall we? Uh, Yeah, I like to talk about that house that you crawled on. Oh, yeah, what about that house I crawled on? Yeah, uh, being plump like he is, I didn't have time to get my camera to film this, but for him to get out the house, I had to grab him by his legs and pull him out. Oh, that's true. I was able to get my plump self in the crawl space, and I told Shaw, I had to take one arm and extend it out, okay, to get my shoulder past. I was in between the gas meter and the cinder block, okay? And uh, and I knew I was going to get stuck, but thank goodness my buddy was there to pull my plump butt out. <laughs> but oh yeah, that's, that's the truth. Go ahead. Give it to me, Charwin. Well, well, you give him an opportunity. Like they say, you give him an inch and take a mile, okay? No, oh, I had to tell on you. That's okay, man. <laughs> it's all good. I'm going to give them a little, little bit. They enjoying it too. Put a little bit on the tree, maybe. Wish I had a little feeder or something I could give them. They might be a little mad that I'm getting them sticky, but they'll clean each other off. I mean, we'll try to. That's what you get for refusing the honey. I was telling Sean Wee, I said, these bees here, there's not enough of them really to sting you. You know, you get stung a couple of times, you're, that, that's 1% <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah. 
see if you can find one or maybe on the top. Get some in there for them. I'm mapping it up, huh, shall we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're getting it, huh? These poor things here. Yeah. It's amazing, folks, that these uh, are doing as well as they are. I mean, this swarm must have been just tiny, you know? And, um... We're going to keep an eye on them, and uh, we'll check back again. And, uh, in fact, I may do some thinking on this and see if we can maybe figure out a way where we can uh, give them a little feed or some type, shall we? To build them up some, you know, before we remove them. Because there's just not a lot of bees, and we're going to have to do that at some point, because I don't believe they're going to make it through winter. They, there's not enough bees to probably generate heat, to, to, you know, to keep them alive. Anyway, we good. just what's that? We can lay it on, get them in a nuke, and just feed them heavy. Yeah, but I, I'm sure there's some eggs in there, and probably on the inside. They, they, there's probably two and a half times the amount of bees, right? As when oh, we looked yeah. at it three weeks ago. Yeah. So maybe we, maybe we give them a couple more weeks, and there'll be even that many more bees. And uh, See, that was all brood right here. That's yeah. Maybe that. Maybe when we come back, it, uh, they'll have enough bees to, you know, to survive it, a transfer. It doubled in size. Yeah, but we shouldn't say in a whole bunch. But no. I'm surprised they're not getting robbed out by them. Yeah. Well, anyway, folks, we're just doing our part to try to save the bees. Uh, I think that's important that we all try to do what we can to, to help the honeybees along, huh, shall we? Yeah. Because you know there's a lot of uh, states out there that are, that are having problems with what's called colony collapse disorder. And, uh, of course, we're not having any problems down here in southeast Louisiana. But, uh, anyway, um, most of the calls that I get, and I get calls from all over, I get calls from zoos, from uh, police departments, uh, ag centers, uh, things like that. And uh, most of the people that call me, they're very concerned about the bees' welfare and they want to remove live, which I specialize, of course, in, in doing. So it's important that we all try to do our part to save these wonderful little, little critters. Another video brought to you by JP. And shall we? And that's a wrap. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, we accomplished something. Yeah. Let's go knock on those people's door, maybe. Cool. You can go. I'll go.